Hey, fellas, Piggy Day here. Okay, guys, it's Sunday. Uh, this is the second feature tonight. Tonight we're gonna have. Uh, I just completed my USS Arizona. Some upload that video as I speak of now. This is an inbox review from a purchase I got down at Smitty's Hobby Shop probably about well, a little more than a week ago. I, I showed this on one of my videos that I did on a stash pile. This is the uh, 172nd scale Gato class uh, submarine, USS Drum, uh, by uh, Ravel of Germany. Uh, this is 172nd scale, rendering a, a whole length of 52 inches and uh, I think 3 sixteenths. Uh, 52 and 3 16 inches long. And a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, very good size model, folks. It's, it's, uh, it's, way, it's way over 4 feet long. It's going to be a big model when it's finished. There's not that many parts to it, fellas. So I already got the kit laid out and ready to go here, guys, in, in the inbox review. Let me get straightened up this chair here. Had a bow over backwards just to show the box. <laughs> okay, fellas. Yeah, so be it. Okay, guys, uh, this is going to be like a fast end box review. We're going to start out with the instructions. So I got the boss tossed it aside, and I'll probably start on this maybe tonight. But before I do anything, I'm going to get myself familiarized with the instructions. And, uh,. I got my workbench all cleared off and cleaned off and ready for this build. I got an extension work table which I'm going to be laying across the fort ship across my computer desk to my workbench that I can actually work on it and still keep working on it without uh, being disturbed. Uh, actually more room to work on because it's a bigger model. Okay guys, I'm going to swing the camera out a little bit. We're going to take a look at this thing and uh, I'll show you how much I what's got uh, the parts to it and everything and how it's done. So anyway, fellas, uh, this is how, it's, how it is right here. And uh, of course, I right hear this is the box and this tidy right here. Here's the instructions, guys. Uh, I kind of passed the instructions a little fast on the uh, on the review of this kit the last time I first got it. And uh, this is going to be a little, a little more better. Anyway, this is the instructions to give me for the kit here, fellas. And uh, I think there's about, uh, I don't know how many steps. I think it was a 70 or something. Taken from the last video and the decals. I want to get those out. Uh, looks like about 28, 29. Uh, there's uh, 30 steps to collect this model, folks. And uh, starting out with the instructions. Of course, you got your parts list. Also, in the beginning, you got your uh, icon, you got your paint schedule on here. All these right here signify the. Uh, the colors that used this kit, and of course, that was the parts list to give you. And uh, number one, you start out to, by gluing the hull together. The hull is pretty massive, folks. So starting out with the hull, also you got your bilge kills on here. It tells you how many degrees they got to be set, and you got internal structures right in here before you close up the main hull. Because this hull is comprised of. Um, uh, six pieces uh, to close up the hole, guys. It's so similar now to the flower class Corvette that Reveal Germany did, which is the old matchbox kit. So you got uh, you got right and left uh, center sections and right and left uh, bow and stern sections, which completes the total hull. Okay, I'll uh, take up to number one, and number two is the uh, is the cradle they give you in the kit, and. Uh, it's used from the beginning also to the end of the cradle of your model. And you got your forward section right here. And you got these little ret ret retainers right here that protrude through the uh, inside of the forward hull has right here. I think they operate your die plane assembly. And right here, these actuators, these are functional, folks. So these, uh, the die planes, this model, do work as a, as a real one. And then it, it takes all the way up to uh, step four completes all that 
and just keeps going on and on folks you know there's a lot of uh, assemblies in here uh fortunately they don't give you no crew figures this kit that i know of uh they probably have to be purchased separately uh what i say the second scale is pretty uh domesticized in the hobby shops in my local area i might be able to have no problem finding uh one say second scale figures for this kit okay guys that completes the uh the instructions and um Here's the decals I give you on the kit. They're uh, typical Ravel decals. Very nice, very nice decals they give you. They give you your flags you can put on top of your sail or, or fair weather, fair, fair water. And uh, of course you got all your Japanese uh, tar uh, trophies that you won. Uh, your victory watches for all the tonnage that's been sunk by this U-boat. Uh, it gives you two different kits, uh, guys. USS Albacore and USS Drum. So it's only uh, decal markings for this here. And the Gator class can go on for other kinds of boats as well because they made a lot of Gator class submarines during World War II. And, 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 uh, and the names of these uh, these sub boats, uh, these submarines, just goes on and on and on. Okay, we'll put the decals over here on top of the instructions. We'll get to the fun part, fellas. Okay, guys, in the beginning here, there's a baggie right here. Looks like this is your sail, your sail or fair weather, fair water. And, uh, conning tower, wherever it is. These, all these parts right here go to it. There's about three sprues, there's four sprues in here. Comprise these assemblies right here. And I'll put that over here. Okay, guys, right over here, this screws a big, large bag right here. This bag here. Uh, this is your deck. This is aft. This is aft of your deck assembly. And the other sprue here consists of um, of your inner, inner structures, your bulkheads, which gives us the uh, the hull a lot more strength. There's your formers that fit inside the hull. Now flip them over. You got the center section of your of your deck. Your deck is very, very well pronounced. I see a lot of wash right here. I'm going to do bad boy up. And also, you got the bow and stern section. And also, you have the um, your ballast ports are pretty well pronounced on here. So, the a pretty good size bag you here, fellas. This is going to be a big, 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 big kit. Where I'm going to put it at, don't have a clue yet, but old Frankie Dave will find a spot for it. I generally do. Okay, uh, another baggie down here below here, fellas. Uh, oh, I know what this goes. This has got clear parts here, which probably your towing lights, your, your navigation lights, running lights, and um, distress lights. And you got two, two plastic tubings here. These, these are your stand. I believe this goes to your your your, uh, your cradle, and it looks like you got uh, some metal tubing here, and that probably, that probably goes for the bow the, the bow planes or stern planes. I don't know. I'll come that one get to the uh, to the build. I go over there. Let's see what else? I oh yeah, some more down here. Okay, guys, right here is completes the hull. And this bag here consists of one, two, three sprues. You got the aft section, which comes in two halves, which is which uh, cements adjacent to the center section. And just show you how big this thing is, folks. Here's my hand. This is on the bow. Torpedo tubes. These are your your, your ballast ports right here. That's where your diving plane assembly fits. And also your torpedo tubes fit here. So this section, there's not very many parts to this thing here, fellas. I mean, there's, it's, it's a submarine, and, and uh, it, it, it'll acquire very many parts, though, but the, the great deal of building this here kit is going to be the painting and lots of paint to complete a model this size. So I may have to go to Ace Hardware or Hardware Store and get me some enamel paint, mix my own, and use it, because I sure shoot, ain't go to the hobby shop and pay about 3 or $4 for a small tin of paint. It's going to take about at least seven, seven tenths of paint to paint this whole battle right here to get it right. 
So I'll buy it by the pint, and I know I have more than enough, and I can still save it later for more more builds. Okay. Yeah, I figure there's more than that to it, guys. We got two more sprues, three more sprues here. Let's see. Oh, that includes that. Okay, guys, right here, uh, this sprue here contains uh, this bag here. You got three sprues in here, and it looks like these are the display stands. Now, you remember that's two that I showed you a while ago on the last last baggie? They plug right in here. They fit in like this. This completes your cradle. Here's your nameplate right here. Here's your rudder, your dive, your stern planes. Got other parts, you got a lot of parts here, folks. So, these are the parts I was kind of uh, puzzled over. They, they gave you enough here to build this thing. Uh, I'm quite sure they did, so. You get your screw guards right here. A ladder weighs here for the crew. Now, so far, I haven't seen any crew figures yet in here, fellas. And, uh, and they may include them. I haven't seen them in the plans, though, but. I'll be really, really amazed if there's any that comes to this kit. Okay, this sprue here, fellas, contains uh, two sprues, one one sprue. This all goes to the fear water. Got your periscope, your snorkel, and uh, you got a lot of sundries here that, that make up your, your your three inch gun, your rail work, and they got your hatches and a lot of other parts. Most is for the assembly of your three-inch gun that was pushed forward. That includes that right there. Here's the last small sprue baggie that comes with the kit, fellas. Right here is your dive planes. You got a lot of other small parts right here that fit probably the exterior of the hull, like on the deck. You got uh, deck, a lot of deck plates, cleats, a lot of deck fittings here, the complete deck fittings on it. Lastly, fellas, the mother load of the kit, the center hole section. Boys, this is big. This is big, 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 as you can see. This thing right here is about three feet long. This hole's either a meter or it's three feet long. And, um, the valve section fits here. Bilge kills go alongside here, fellas. And I believe this is your Ford. This is where the bow section fits. And your stern section comes over here. And this is where your deck snaps on here. Incidentally, folks, since we're on the subject right here, um, there is a, a, a radio control um website on there that sells parts for these submarines they got a special watertight compartment which fits inside this hull of this kit here and they got instructions that 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 you have to modify this that's if you guys want to make a radio control subject this thing is big i mean this is really a huge model when done and leaves a lot of room for radio so, uh, instantly, I've seen it on Subcommittee. That's the name of the website. So, guys, be sure to check that out. And uh, they sell a lot, of, a lot of stuff for these rear control submarines. I've never gotten in a rear control submarine because I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm going to get my boat back. And they're very different uh, cousins compared to your surface craft. And um, so, you got to make sure you keep that submarine in view. If you're in deep water, you know, you... You're, you're you're running out of trouble. You gotta have some kind of you gotta some kind of a safety engineer. There, there's parts out there, fellas, that, that there's safety gear that'll keep you from losing your boat. You can always get it out, get it back, uh, grab a raft or a canoe or something, get your boat out of the drink. But there's a lot of stuff out there, fellas, on this on this here kit. Uh, it's called www dot uh, subcommittee, and they sell watertight compartments. Now I don't want to scare anybody like that. It's, it's such as it's like plastic anything. It was a must have for this kit if you elect to have it as an RC project. It's gonna run around three hundred something plus dollars. Just for our truck apartment. That's that's not my, that's not even not the radio included. Then you have to get yourself a, a a radio, a receiver, a transmitter, the whole thing. And uh so along with the radio with the radio uh tight compartment and the submarine you're running about 
you're running around eight, nine hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. And uh, so there's a special kit made for this thing, Stella. So if you just just a little tip or a little little tidbit of information, that will direct you right there to the subcommittee. So be sure and go there if you need to get a water type apartment. Along with that water type apartment kit, there's a sheet of instructions. It's like is this kit. It shows you parts to modify for that compartment to fit in the hull. Okay, guys, that kind of completes the inbox review of this. So after this video, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, probably start on this. And uh, I'll have another video of this probably uh, next week sometime, probably around Tuesday. And I have a video of that. And so this Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, I'll probably, uh, I'll be probably starting back on my, my CSS Alabama. Uh, Captain Raphael Sims is yelling at me right now and telling me to turn two, ten to shit's work, get this thing done. And uh, I like to see it done myself. So the Arizona's out of the way, folks. I'm knocking these old builds out, and here I'm starting more. But this submarine's been calling on me a long time, so... I'm going to go ahead and give it a crack, fellas. So i got a lot of builds I'll be catching up on along with this build here, too. So I'll keep you guys busy. I know I'll be busy. Okay, fellas, I'd like to thank everybody again for tuning in. May God bless. And thank you very much for your wonderful replies and also your comments and everything. I'm very happy and dear to each one of you. And uh, Merry, Merry Christmas and God bless each one of you guys. And make Mama happy again. And make yourself happy. And get a lot of styrene underneath that tree and, and show us and share everything we've got for Christmas and I'll be doing the same thing. Okay, guys, I'm out of here right now. So, bye, boys. Catch you on the next video. So, Tuesday will be uh, video number one on the USS Drum. Okay, bye, boys. Catch you guys later, man. Bye now.